I don't know where I am anymore. I don't feel like the same person. Everything is upside down and backwards. I feel like I finally had a grip on who I am and what is real. And within three months of life proves me wrong. Again. At this point, why even try? Honestly, I dream of a life of love and chaos. Yet, I find myself in situations where I can't be loved. Or I can't love them. And I can't understand it. Why is love in my romantic life the only thing I can't find? It seems like I can't make a mutual connection with anyone. Not in a romantic sense, anyways. So here I am. After 28-ish years of life. Still. If not more, I am lost. My head spinning, fear, panic, stress, anxiety, all rush over me. My normal impulse would be to scream, yell, break something, destroy bits and pieces of my life. For the first time, I feel stable, happy, peaceful. Why when we have something so good, our impulse is to destroy it? I don't want to destroy it. So I fight. I fight with every urge in my body. I try to call someone to distract my mind so they can tell me what I'm already thinking. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. I begin to cry. I'm crazy. <laughs> my body goes cold as I start to tremble. But I can't stop. And I can't calm myself down. I asked her how to stop it, and for a second, I slip into it. I begin to fall, take a slow, and my body shakes more. Any reason any of this Relax. Occurs. Focus on your breathing. My heart is pounding out of my chest. I feel like it might beat right out of my chest. Out of it, I can't stop. Emotions are lessening in intensity. And I can't calm myself I down. And I feel better. And I get a grip. I feel free from my mental state enough to Damn. allow... My mom off the backslid. I'll fight harder. I'll listen to I'll the advice you. I've heard a thousand He's times. He's I wanted this whole time. Take a slow, deep the breath. The only reason any of this is Focus on your breathing. This much power. Like I haven't been doing that. I feel overwhelmed and I've lost control and I'm about to be destructive for absolutely no reason. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Sorry, Mr. Call. Call. Please leave me a message. Please leave a message. The only reason any of this occur, this much power, 
this much control all because I love someone? To get upset and lose control over a speculation. An idea that I had to convince myself is true. I know this is a result of being mentally and emotionally damaged. Minutes later, my love shows up. Hey, baby. Hey, hey. Five days home. Hey. Think okay? I know I've been working a lot lately on my thesis. Uh, maybe we can take some time together soon. You sure everything's okay? Do you need anything? I hold on to him for two reasons. One, because I am still shaking and trembling and my body feels stiff. Two, more for the reason that I feel comfortable and safe. There's no better feeling in the world than feeling safe. And I feel safe with him. Yeah, I feel safe with him. This is why I fight. This is why I fought. So few of us trust anymore. So few of us fight anymore. In the end, I will be too much for him to handle. In the end, he left me. Because loving someone as damaged as me is more than a burden. It's a life sentence. I walked into the room and immediately caught his eyes with mine. You were all the rage back in your day. You were never shy. The moment swallowed me in its entirety. <laughs> so, had a good time? Yeah, I uh, really had a good time. Yeah, me too. Well, I guess that's it. Um, thanks. Yeah, I'll, anytime. I'll see you. Okay. okay. Hey. Uh, you should text me sometime. Yeah. Yeah, I will. I like that. Yeah. All right. Bye. Take care.
60 seconds or so, I would catch his eye or, or his mind. We shot pool and dance and this undeniable, this, this chemistry we had pouring out between us. When it was time to leave, I walked towards him, holding a stare in his eyes as he stared into my soul. I embraced him with a hug and whispered in his ear, text me sometime. Effortlessly, he was there. When I finally let go of every anxious feeling I had about being intimate with him, I ended up giving my all to him. It was incredible. I felt every nerve in my body tingle. The electricity flowed through my nerve endings throughout my entire body. At that moment, I knew my light had been turned back on. So what game are we playing? I'm playing Skip Boat. For what? what? I don't know what that is. Well, you're about to find out, because we are going to learn. They're cute. Mm -hmm. Stop it. Huh? I used to work at Black Benny. What? Yeah, hey. I was bartender over there. Do they have a shot tradition? Where if you take a shot of Malort, they give you a witch finger. That's just it. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm getting another beer. I'll be right back. Don't touch my cards. Oh, come on. Really? I'm not going to cheat. So, what are you waiting for? In the kitchen, stand up and catch us. Are you kidding me right now? Are you serious right now? No! Are you. What is wrong with you? Please, I'm not. Let's talk What is wrong with you? I can't believe you're doing this to me! I can't believe it! I walk into the bar after not having seen Jacob for a while. I was excited to see him. This man who promised me a better Louisiana if I would just stay. Okay. How is it that you beat me every single time? Because I'm just looking like that. I'm going to get you eventually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, um... So, I have a job offer in Michigan. What? I have a job offer in Michigan. Are you going to take it? I don't know. I mean, work isn't really working out for me here, and Lisa said I could stay with her till I got settled, so... Please, don't go. I will do anything for you. I love you. <laughs> I promise that if you stay, I will make every day so wonderful for you that you never want to leave Louisiana. So that's a yes? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna stay. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Up. 
lot. Yeah? Yeah, you know, um, work, of course, family stuff, but I met somebody. What? I couldn't believe what I was hearing. But as it began to sink in, my world began to fall around me. I take a sip of my beer as if I was taking a deep breath. I collected my inner thoughts during the five seconds it took me to have the beers to my lips. The words continue to pour out of his mouth while alcohol fills my words of happiness, words of fulfillment, hopes of forever with a person who makes him feel this way. Feelings of panic, of messing everything up. No, no. Comfort him. How can I even keep up with that, you know? You are a great guy. Okay, everything's gonna be okay. Just I'm crumbling inside. Be yourself. You think so? Yeah. You think she'll, you know, be into me? Yeah. I smile through it all. Really think so. I really can't. I can't do it anymore. My strength has run out. I bail without explanation, without reason. And I walk out with a simple, all right, I'm going home. Okay, um, want me to, I can walk you out. Oh. I'll holler at you. He unknowingly plays hacky sack with a grenade of emotions. I don't I don't even know going home. home. Just, Just sadness. sadness. Darkness. Blackout. That you never want to leave Louisiana. You never want to leave Louisiana. I love you. I feel I'm slipping into a depression. I'm in an all-time low. My chest weighs on me anytime I look and think about feelings I pretend not to have. My self-esteem has slipped away from me. I no longer think of myself as pretty or special. I thought it's the suicide in Narna. Is it normal to think how nice it would be for it to be all over? All of the pain of every traumatic experience, the heartache, Never being loved enough. But I don't really want to die. Myself to sleep every night. The heartache of never being enough to love. The struggle and the fight I endure most days to bury it all away. To resemble some sort of a normal human. Call an old friend to come stay with me for a week. I was suicidal. I am suicidal. I don't trust myself. Hey, what's up? Hey. What are you doing? I was just wondering if you had anything going on this week. Cause I, um, I just thought maybe you might want to come over. Yeah, of course. I, I could do with a change of pace. Uh, I'll see you soon. Okay. Okay. Who is this? 
and where am I? They say anxiety and depression go hand in hand. Then why is my anxiety at all time low and my depression at all time high? Hey. Hey. What are you doing here? Called me over. Wow. Oh. Hey. You hear you okay? Yeah. I know. So, Boris gone? You don't find him just think is Austin. You okay, Tim? I'm not me. Look, hey, hey, hey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm sure take you to bed. Eric's head. talk about something what's going on I went out last night with some of the friends and got drunk and I slept with somebody last night Kim okay it meant nothing it, it, it was just You know how I feel about you. I'm just asking you. Just... How could you do this to me? Why? Why? I don't know. Just forgive me and just move forward with this. I'm not like anybody else. You just like everybody else. I am so, so very, very sorry. I never meant to hurt you. I never meant to do anything like this, and if I could take it all back, I would. Look, I promise I will never do this again. Yes, you will. And you're not sorry you're going to do it again. We just like everyone else. We need to leave soon. I'll always love you.
not enough. As far back as I can remember, I felt like I was the crazy one. I remember trying so hard to change myself, to fight urges and my crippling anxiety. I even warned people about my damaged mind. I mentioned that being with me would be a chore. I became so insecure. My image of myself deteriorated and I no longer walked with confidence. I didn't look in the mirror and smile anymore. Maybe I never did. Maybe I just got tired of faking it. I stopped wanting love and I decided I wasn't worth love anymore. Anyone who was pushing to get close to me, I would cut off immediately. No explanation, no further contact. I used, I used to, to tell, tell myself, myself control, control the crazy. crazy. Control the crazy. Control the crazy. My last relationship ended with him telling me that he would need a prescription of Xanax to be with me. Here's the thing. None of that was true. I gave control of my mental state, emotional state, and overall well-being in other people's hands. Who didn't deserve it or couldn't handle it. I wasn't crazy. I wasn't crazy. I just surrounded myself around people who fed my insecurities, who didn't care, who left me feeling as I wasn't enough. And you know what? It wasn't me this whole time. Love is the biggest trust fall of all. It's the only one that if you fall, the risks are at its highest. It's the only one that hurts the longest, cuts the deepest, and will take the life right out of you without ever giving you the sweet relief of death. But you know what they say. The bigger the risk, the bigger the reward. So, we fall. We all find someone, that person being a lover, a parent, a child, a neighbor, a friend. Each one of us finds someone we close our eyes, cross our arms over our chest, and fall for. Because in that moment, in the two or four seconds it takes for us to realize what choice was made. There's a feeling, a want of knowing. There's a tingle of anticipation for happiness. Because you know the reward is priceless and indescribable. So, it's worth risking it all, if, they catch you when you fall. Time.